Hey guys, it's Landon Blake from Redefine Horizons, and I'm putting this video together for Alyssa. She is my graphic design and marketing ninja in training. And so uh, I'm going to show her in this video how I set up a kind of a layout template in Inkscape for a new uh, newsletter, digital magazine we're going to do called Surveying the Law. And so in the first part of the video, I'm just going to real quick walk you through the folder structure here. So here's the name of the publication, Surveying the Law. Then I have this folder called Article Sources. That's, that's where I drop in uh, <clears throat> information that could be inspiration for an article. Then I have the Issues folder. This is where the actual issues will go. Will go. So our first issue will probably be in August. So we'll put 2020-08 uh, there. So everything for that issue will go in there. But the, the important folder for us is going to be, in this video, is going to be in the graphic design folder. So I've got a folder with some cover images that we're going to use. And then I've got a folder with the fonts that we're going to use. We're going to use these two fonts. These are both Google fonts. And uh, what, what we need, and what we don't have yet, but what we need is our, our template. We're going to need one for the cover and one for a regular page. And so I'm going to show you guys how to set that up in, uh, in Inkscape. So I can't remember if I've installed these fonts, so let me see. Nope, I hadn't installed them, so we'll install our two fonts real quick. Okay. All right, so we're going to go ahead and fire up Inkscape, and uh, we're going to get started on this template. So I'm using the beta version of Inkscape 1.0. So here's the kind of the default view. And the very first thing I like to do is go save this. So we're going to go ahead and save it. So we're going to put it in graphic design. And we're going to call this regular page template and then we'll have a, a cover page template okay now what I want to do is I want to set up my document so that's here under document properties and uh, we're gonna go ahead and get this set up so we're gonna use a legal US letter legal sheet and we want it to be portrait I want my units to be inches Okay, and uh, I like to leave on my page border and my page shadow, uh, but you could turn those off if you don't want them, but I like to have them on. Okay, and then we're going to come over here and set up our grid, so we're going to do a new rectangular grid, and I'm going to set the units to inches, and I like to do mine at 0 0.1 and 0 0.1. Okay, and then I like to change my major grid line color just a little bit. So now we've got our document set up the way we want it. So I'm going to just go ahead and save those changes. And then what I like to do just kind of at the start is I just like to lay out some kind of rough layout boxes. And uh, the key to living life good in Inkscape is to use layers. So we're going to add a layer. And I'm going to call this uh, boxes layout. Okay, so we'll add that layer. It's now the current layer. And I'm going to just pick a light gray color here, and we're going to lay out some boxes. Okay, so I'm going to leave myself, uh, I'm going to give this a pretty wide margin, I think. So I might do an inch and a half. So we'll go an inch and an inch and a half margin. So I'm going to give myself a little band. This is going to be real text-heavy publication, so I want to leave lots of white space. So we'll have our little header bar there. Then we'll put in our footer bar down here. And then we're going to basically have two columns of text. Okay. Okay, so that's just kind of the basic layout that I want. <clears throat> Okay. 
So I'm going to go ahead and save that. Um, and you know, just depending on what you're doing, you might want, uh, you don't usually have margins that are, are this big. I'll usually run this, you know, this these boxes up here like this. Um, but like I said, because this is so text heavy, um, I think I'm going to go ahead and stick with those uh, those wider half inch margins. Okay, so now we've that we've got that kind of laid out, we're going to go ahead and uh, lay out our our main fonts. So I'm going to go ahead. We're going to work on this header first. So each sheet, you got to remember this is a regular page, but even on the regular page, we're going to have <clears throat> we're going to have the title of the article. So. Uh, I'm just going to use set up a sample here. So uh, this is the name of a case. And uh, we're going to go ahead and set that to our font, our title font right now. So we're going to use Rambla for our title font. And we're going to go with the bold. And that's probably a little big on the font, so we're going to go ahead and set that. Let's try 18. Okay. I'm going to turn on my tech snap here. And uh, we're actually, yeah, let's see here. Let's get this lined up. And uh, I know that's not the name of the case. It's Mandini versus Rabana, Rabanowitz. Rabanowitz. We're just using this as a sample. Okay, so I like that size. Now, there's a couple things I want to do. We're actually going to... I don't usually leave these uh, grids, but I'm actually... We're going to leave these grids in this publication since it's fairly text-heavy. And uh, I don't usually use rounded corners either, but and I'm going to go ahead and use <laughs> rounded corners. So uh, just changing things up a little. So I'm going to put a one-tenth tenth of an inch rounded corner. And to do that, you just double-click and then grab this circle on the top right and move it down. So we're going to have our rounded corners here. And uh, I don't know. I may change that, but for now I'm going to go with that. Okay. All right. So this is our title font. And then we're going to have a regular font uh, below. We're going to just kind of put a byline. And uh, so we're going to make that our regular font, which is going to be Titilium, I think it's called. And thank you to the gentlemen or ladies that donated these fonts to the Google Web Fonts, which is cool. And I'm going to go with a light version of that because I want it to stand out. And we're going to try size 10. So then we're going to say, oop. Ah. Okay, and we're going to say, by Landon Blake. We're actually going to say written by, and then uh, I'm hoping I can find an editor. Oop. Okay. So I like this so far. Now I do want to set this up to this text to be up on a what we call a baseline grid. So I'm going to go into my uh, document properties and just temporarily I'm going to change this to two tenths of an inch on the uh, the, the Y spacing because that's what I want my baseline grid to be. And then we're going to snap this text down to the to the ba the line there and. Um, so it, it'll just make things look a lot nicer. So I'm going to drag these fonts down here. Now you can see the problem that creates uh, when we get down here is I, I don't have room for... 
I, I only have room for one line of text here because I'm only hitting one baseline grid, and that, that's okay. So we're going to say surveying the law. And we're going to say uh, this is going to be the August 2020 issue. Okay, and I actually want this font right here to be right justified. So if you text click this, then right here we can right justify that font since it's on the other side of the page. Okay. And it'd be nice to get a page number in here somewhere. Okay, we don't really have room for that. Uh, but I notice if I'm, yeah, I don't really want to mess with that half inch margin either. Hmm. <laughs> So what I might do is I might just be totally crazy. I'm going to grab this text and put it over here, kind of outside of that box, and we're going to make that the page number. And you know what? I just, I don't know if it's the American in me or what, but I just gonna feel better about having this on the other side of the page. So, all right, so we're gonna go ahead and save that. Now what I don't have in here yet is I don't have the body text and uh, I don't have the body text and I don't have any colors yet. So I actually, uh, we got to pick a color scheme for this. I'm going to go ahead and just show you guys what a, do two more quick things. So let's set up a subheading. So we're going to use this same titanium font, but it comes with several styles. That's one of the reasons why I picked it. So we're going to go with their black for our heading and uh, we'll make our font a little bigger. Okay, so we'll say introduction. Okay, and then what we want to do is we want to set up some multi-line text and then set our spacing right so it lines up. And so I'm actually I'm going to open that article and just steal some text because I actually have this article. Uh, let's see. All right, you guys can't see because I'm off my screen, my monitor, but I'm just grabbing some text there. We're gonna put in. Okay, now we got to do a couple things. We gotta, um, we gotta set this wrap limit, the bounding box of the text. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually bring this all the way down. I want it to be right here. And uh, so now it's wrapping, breaking. The lines are breaking in the right spot, but you notice. It's not aligned to my baseline grid. So I want these, the baseline of this text to be hitting these lines here. So the way you adjust that is right here. Okay, so uh, I need to increase it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. It looks like we're pretty close right there. So every time you do that, it moves this a little bit. So you got to re-snap it. You can see I'm still I'm still not quite enough. I'm I'm coming up short, right? And the farther down you go, the worse it gets. So let's try uh, let's try eight. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's quite there yet. And every font's a little different. This one might be. Let's try four. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's four either. All right, now it looks like we might be getting closer. Okay, now I'm too far because you can see I'm 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 missing right here. So where we went too far. So let's try uh, try four two. Yeah, no. And this, you know, you just trial and error this till you get it a bit where you want it. That's pretty close. That might be it right there. Okay, so that's it. It looks good. I'm hitting the line right where I want it at 1.44. Okay, so uh, that's gonna that's gonna be how we lay that out. Now we we're gonna have some notes over here. So 
So we're going to go ahead and set this up. And we'll probably do a different color on this, but we're going to say article summary. And then right here, we're going to make that a light italic. Okay, and uh, let's just edit this text real quick. Okay, so we've got a, a fairly nice layout now. We don't have any colors yet, but uh, we'll, we'll do those in the next video. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. And uh, let's save it as a PDF. I always like to look at it as a PDF because that's how most people are going to view it, of course, is as a PDF. Okay, so let's check out what that PDF looks like. And there you go. There's the PDF. Looks nice and crisp. This might be a little bit thick for the size, so I might I might choose a slightly thinner style. I might go with the bold instead of the black, but uh, I think this looks nice. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna have a nice looking uh, layout here. So there you go. Cool guys, thanks for watching. Now you kind of know how to do a, a basic document setup in uh, Inkscape, basic page layout. Uh, we'll do another video, and uh, I'll I'll fix this font. We'll add some uh, colors, and I'll show you guys how we're going to use some, some symbols over here on this side, some, some kind of um, navigational aid symbols, and uh, so I'll show you guys how that works. All right, cool. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it.